What do you know what that says over there? It's Joe Federico's first day of kindergarten. Yeah, perfect. A major accomplishment for this five year old boy whose mom says she never expected this day to come. There you go. He was completely paralyzed. He couldn't sit up by himself for more than seven seconds in the bed. And now, you know, he walked into school wearing his backpack, being super excited. Hi, Joe. Anne Marie Federico of New Windsor says a few months before her son's fourth birthday, he suffered an unexpected brain aneurysm. He's vomiting, he's a stomach virus, so we didn't think anything of it until you know, we came to the hospital and realized that he had a severe bleed in his brain. In my head, it was never really a possibility that we were going to lose him. Joe underwent many surgeries and the removal of 40% of his skull. He was admitted to Blythedale Children's Hospital where he's relearning how to walk and talk. My favorite thing is to do to go outside at nighttime when it's a little light out to and turn the grill on for my dad to push that little black button. When he's not grilling with dad, Joe continues to undergo intense rehab, regaining his strength. To watch somebody like him go from not being able to really move, sit, crawl to being able to run around and starting to be able to skip walking on a treadmill, all kinds of things. It's, it's very rewarding. If he's going to ever walk and talk and run around again, this is the place that's going to do it. Woo! Playing baseball's his favorite sport. Come on back home! Come on home! Woo! A real MVP in his game of life. In Valhalla, Rebecca Solomon, News 12.